It's nine minutes after seven o'clock. Mark Messier is here from Ottawa Fire Services because this, ladies and gentlemen, is Fire Prevention Week. How are you, sir? Morning, Kurt. Did you have a nice Thanksgiving? Had an awesome Thanksgiving. Thanks. How, how great was it around here? Eh? Couldn't ask for any better weather. Yeah, and I don't think we had much trouble in in, uh, in in with fires over the weekend, which is nice. One on the weekend. One on the weekend. We seem to uh, we seem to see a lot of uh, of fires where the basics aren't covered, Mark, and that's. You know the uh, the uh, fire uh, alarm system wasn't working, or the uh, smoke detector wasn't powered up, or something like that. It continues to be a bit of a problem, isn't it? Uh, yeah, every year the same message is pretty much the same. This year we're we're, we're still uh, trying to remind residents to to have their fire escape plan, practice it. Uh, so sit down with the family, organize their fire escape plan, uh, look at two ways out of every room if they can, have a meeting place outside before they call 911. And again, the smoke alarms is still a big problem, uh, making sure they have working smoke alarms, one on each floor, making sure that they, they work, test them once a, a month, yeah. and change the batteries. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's one thing to have those smoke alarms, it's another thing to make sure they're operational and fully powered up and that sort of thing, right? That's right. I like your uh, nice example that you brought of, uh, of a, a fire escape plan. It's a good thing to have, there's no question about it, and it's a good thing to go over with the kids and get the kids involved, right? That's right. Uh, what, basically, everybody's got false alarms in the house because of cooking and so on. We think it's a great opportunity for people to practice it at that time. The smoke alarm goes off, Pretend there is an actual fire, get out of the house. You don't have a whole lot of time. You've got maybe a minute, a minute, a minute and a half. Of is that the estimate, out. about you know, 90 seconds? Yeah, I mean, it used to be uh, a home would burn about 12 minutes. Now we're down to like three minutes on average before you can't get out. So Why is that? Because the materials used in building and that sort no, of thing? Just the materials used, uh, the amount of combustibles we have in the home now. You know, we have more plastics, uh, more synthetic materials. They really? burn quicker. Uh, so your, your, your escape time is reduced to about a minute and a half. So you've got to have this plan down pat to get out quickly. Yeah. And you mentioned it, uh, you mentioned that uh, practicing it is, uh, is a good thing to do. And people may look at that and go, yeah, you know, we're, we don't need to practice that. Well, you do. Because well, that's a short uh, time span to get out. That's right. I mean, you uh, block a stairwell or block, block a hallway and everything's changed now. So what's your plan B? Uh, so, so if you've got a window, if you can get out of that window, so there's a, you can use fire escape ladders and get out onto a roof. Uh, there's all kinds of other options you can use, and that's what people need to look at. Yeah. Tell me uh, about your connection with Duracell. What's going on there? Well, this year Duracell and uh, Kitty Canada have both um, sponsored us this year. Uh, they've given us a lot of money uh, to help do this, this program because it's a nationwide program, so right. there's a, a, a lot of work that needs to be done. So they've sponsored us by giving us uh, smoke detectors and, and batteries uh, to give to people who don't have them. Exactly. And we've got a nice uh, gift pack right here, right? There's a smoke detector in there. Uh, there's uh, batteries and a, and a charger. Oh, there's all kinds of batteries. Matter of fact, there's more batteries you can possibly need uh, for, uh, for a, a, a smoke detector. You get all kinds of good stuff. Oh. Oh, and you got Sparky, right? Sparky. With you get Sparky. Sparky. Yeah. Um, okay. We're going to uh, give this uh, nice little prize pack away uh, because it is uh, Fire Prevention Week, and uh, all you have to do is email us right now, Ottawa Contest at cdv.ca, Ottawa Contest at ctv.ca. First one to email us in. First one concerned about uh, fire safety and uh, and uh, fire prevention week. Uh, email in, we'll give you this nice prize pack with all the batteries and a smoke detector and the whole works in there. Mark, thanks for uh, taking the time to come see us. I know you uh, you guys are going out and meeting people, right? Knocking on doors. Yeah, wake up programs uh, in, in full works right now. Uh, you know, this year we're, we're hoping to, to bring our numbers even down lower. Uh, so far, we're down to about 10% in Ottawa of homes yeah. that we're visiting that don't have working smoke alarms. We're hoping to get that down to zero. Exactly. It should be the zero number, shouldn't it? Yeah. Thanks for your time today, my friend. You're welcome. Good to see you.